Hi everyone and welcome to Real Talk. I am your host Pat Terrio and you all know how I love to be in the kitchen and I love to cook. I've got a special little guest with me today and she's going to introduce herself to you all out there. Look at this little cutie right here. My name is Hattie Grace Shepherd. Now Hattie Grace, Hattie Grace Shepherd. Now do you enjoy cooking? I do. Now we're going to prepare something special, but before we prepare this, they need to know a little bit more about you than that you're Hattie Gray Shepherd. <laughs> Are you ready to share with them? Mm -hmm. Okay, go right ahead. Um, my parents are Jay and Lacey Shepherd, and I have a brother, and he is 10 years old, and his name is AJ. And I'm 8 years old, and I go to Trinity Christian School, and my favorite color is blue. Of course it is, because you're a crusader, Hattie Grace. <laughs> All right, now, do you, en you enjoy cooking? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to talk about something that we're going to prepare for your family and for my family, right? This is going to be something easy to do, something quick, but also something delicious. I'm going to make a spinach and chicken Alfredo with, with black olives pizza with a whole grain crust. And what are you going to make? I'm going to make cheese pizza. And what kind of cheese are you going to use? Mozzarella. And what else? Mix. Cheddar. Yes, you're going to mix both of those together. So you're going to use a mozzarella and a cheddar. And so in order to make this spinach chicken alfredo, we're going to start with some beautiful, beautiful spinach. Some people don't like to eat spinach, but I'm telling you, Popeye had a thing with spinach. Have you ever heard of Popeye? It's an old school, <laughs> old school cartoon, darling. Okay, we're going to start off with some beautiful spinach leaves. And I've already prepared the <coughs> chicken breasts. I have seasoned the chicken breasts. I've cut them up. And this is ready to prepare. And so we're going to get this oven on. Let's get this oven on, Hattie Grace. We're going to talk about some safety things, too, in the kitchen. Okay. What things do you already know about how to be safe in the kitchen? To tell an adult that you are cooking in the kitchen and make sure that they know and they're there with you? Absolutely. Am I adult, an adult? Mm -hmm. I'm here with you. <laughs> All right. And so we've already got your ingredients. We're going to use a mozzarella cheese. Like she said, she's going to use a mixed cheese for her cheese pizza. She's going to make one for herself and for her big brother. We're using a mozzarella and cheddar. And we also have black olives, a basic pizza sauce, and we're using a chicken alfredo. And this little liquid stuff here, that is mm -hmm. olive oil. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to saute the spinach first, and then we're going to prepare this chicken in a skillet. Can you help me measure? Sure. All right. This is olive oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to move this here. Okay. I need for you to measure a tablespoon of olive oil, and we're going to place it in here. Go ahead. Fill it up. Now, put it right in there. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. I don't want to use a lot of olive oil because I, I want this to be a very healthy pizza. And so, I don't want to use a whole lot of oil, but olive oil is great for it anyway. And now, we're going to get the spinach ready. Okay. We're going to need some more olive oil. Okay. Let's turn this on. All right. And give me another tablespoon of that. Can you get it in there? Very good, very good, very good. Look at that. And you know, I think it's fun cooking with children and it's very important to make sure that you have some cool things out there. We're also gonna make some fruit kebabs a little bit later for a nice little uh, Easter party, right? Mm -hmm. Now you've made kebabs for already, haven't mm -hmm. you? Okay, and we're going to use, what kind of fruit are we going to use? We're going to use strawberries and grapes. Strawberries and grapes. Yummy. All right, so let's talk to them about what we're going to do for you to start making your pizza. What are you going to start with? I'm going to start with putting this cooking brush in the olive oil. Yes, and what are you going to do? Are you going to paint that crust? Mm -hmm. I'm going to paint all over it. <laughs> She's using miniature, miniature uh, pizza crust. It doesn't matter which brand you use. I'm using a whole wheat, which is about 90 calories for those out there who really want to count your calories. All right, you're going to dip that in there. Get it all in there. There you go. Don't take a paintbrush from out of your garage, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, right? <laughs> this is a kitchen. This is for the kitchen use only. Okay, you go right ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken, see if my chicken is ready to go in there. Get it in there like that. There we go. Keep going. Is that brushed pretty well? It is. Very good. And here's another one. You go ahead and 
prepare your brothers, okay. okay? And the thing is, I talk about multitasking in the kitchen. We want to make sure that we're doing several things, but we're still being clean, mm -hmm. right? We're mm -hmm. still being clean. Mm -hmm. And we're also being efficient with our time. All right, that should be enough right there. I've got the oven preheating to 425 degrees. Her pizza should only take about six minutes to be ready to eat. But she's preparing the bread right now. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and start with this chicken. I've already seasoned the chicken to how I want it to be seasoned. I don't want to touch raw chicken since I'm also having to work with fruit as well. So I prepared this in advance, the, the wonders of television, to make sure we already have that prepared and to cook. Very good. That's good right there. That's good. Okay, we'll set this to the side. And now you go ahead and tell them what you're going to use next. What do you think? I think I'm going to use pizza sauce. There you go. Very good. And so take one of the spoons. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you see that? It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. You go ahead and now tell them what you're getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to put my spoon in there and I'm going to get it all in on the pizza. Okay. You go for it, young lady. Now, does your brother like much pizza sauce? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> It doesn't matter because this is you preparing it for him. <laughs> he should just he should just like it no matter what, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to take some spinach. Spinach, when it cooks, it cooks down. And so that's going to cook down too. There we go. That looks good. You're going to smooth that out. Smooth it out as you're going. Smooth it out. Very good. Now keep in mind when you're cooking with kids, make sure that you are safe as far as teaching them basic things about kitchen and being sanitary, being clean in the kitchen. That's important. Isn't that important? Yes. <laughs>From strains and breaks to tears and pulls, you can find quality orthopedic care right here in Dublin. Fairview Medical Group Orthopedics treats a wide range of issues. Our staff will give you the individualized attention you need. Dr. Heath Richter focuses on the treatment of sports-related injuries in pediatric orthopedics. And Dr. Dustin Gay specializes in the interior approach to hip replacement surgery. Call 478-274-8886 for more information or to schedule an appointment. I'd like to invite you down this year for the East Dublin Fire Department's fourth annual barbecue cook-off in conjunction with the East Dublin Lions Club Go Fish Tournament. The tournament's going to be the 25th and 26th of April. The barbecue cook-off will be on the 26th. Check-in times. Got to be started cooking by 6 a.m. that morning. Uh, anybody that wants to come that Friday night and set up, welcome to. We'll be down here to spend the night with you. Our categories this year will be barbecue, uh, ribs, chicken, and chili. Our judging will be that afternoon, and the times will be on your entry form. Entry form can be attained by calling the East Dublin Fire Department or coming by, going by the East Dublin City Hall drive through or check us out on Facebook at East Dublin Fire Department. Come down and see us for a fun day with the whole family. Uh, in conjunction with the, we're going to do the, the cooking and the fishing tournaments. There'll be something for all ages that day. Y'all come and join us. It's now official. Club 604 is open to the public. That's right. Dublin's most upscale restaurant, bar, and lounge is now open to the public. We all can experience the most unique place of dining and enjoyment around. The restaurant is open Wednesday through Saturday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., and happy hour is 4.30 to 6.30, Tuesday through Saturday. Trivia on Wednesday and live music every Friday. And make Club 604 your destination for your next conference, wedding, meeting, or party. Club 604 and so much more. And please join us March 15th for the second annual St. Paddy's Ball. And March 22nd, Super Saturday, for our first annual flea market. Club 604. 604 Academy Avenue, Dublin. Community Bank of Dublin, Orange County. Located at 605 Bellevue Avenue right across from the Dublin Post Office, centrally located for all of Lawrence County to bank with us. I'm Chuck Harwell, Executive Vice President. I would like to personally invite you to come take a tour of our bank to enjoy the new banking technology we can provide with teller pods, ATM machines, safe deposit box, and extended drive through lanes. The banking service that you will receive at our bank is equal to none in town. 
you will see the difference when you walk in that front door. We use common sense banking approach in every decision we make. Banking the way it used to be. Community. 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 Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We are Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, the bank that service built. Now, what things do you like to cook? I like to cook cookies, brownies, and fudge. Really? And, and what is your favorite food of all time? My favorite food of all time is macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. Now, do you like vegetables? I do. You I do? do? I don't like all vegetables. What vegetables do you like? I like green beans. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of all the other ones. But green beans is a favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to say something while she's doing this. When you're putting that sauce on there, don't let it hang all out okay. on the sides. Okay. So you're going to kind of stop right in here. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this one's already prepared. Do you want more sauce? Do you like a lot of sauce? Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. So smooth it out. Make sure it's smooth. As you all see, I am still working on the spinach. That's going to cook down very nicely. Working on the spinach and working on my chicken. And it smells yummy. Can you smell that? <laughs> I can. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter what, which brand spinach that you use. If you prefer baby spinach, you can go with that as well. And me, I love black olives. I don't know what it is about black olives. Do you eat those? I don't. You don't. Okay, but I do, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now explain to, to them what you're getting ready to do. Um, I'm getting ready to put the cheese on it. Yes, you are. But let's finish out your brother's. Get his sauce on there. Very good. And, you know, I think teaching your children to cook at an early age is so important, especially if you love to cook. You know, mine are teenagers, and, and one will be, you know, college-bound soon. And so I really want them to take some things away from them that I love to do and that will help them in the long run. Yes, how is that? Put a, put a little bit more sauce on because once this is in the oven, that's probably going to cook down. Are you having fun? Mm-hmm. 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 And should you, should you keep your hands clean when you're cooking? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Look at that. Do I need to put the cheese on it now? Are you ready to put the cheese on it? I think it? I am. Okay. She is ready, ladies and gentlemen, to put the cheese on it. Do you want me to move this right here? Yes. We'll move that. We'll move that here. Do you have the... Put that to you right there. You see that? Do I just grab it? You're going to grab it with your hand. Now listen, I like to work with my hands, okay? Do you like working with your hands? Mm -hmm. This is like art class. It's fun class. to fill it. Yes, so. it is. It's mm -hmm. fun to fill it, isn't it? All right, so she's filling that cheese. Now you go ahead and do the cheese while I'm working on the spinach. See how that's cooking down? Oh, that's nice. And as the spinach is cooking down, I'm going to add more leaves. Simply because I like a lot of spinach. And notice that I'm cooking these leaves the way they are. I'm not uh, chopping them or anything because they're going to cook, that, cook down. Is this good enough? No, you need more cheese <laughs> than that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Keep going because if, if you're making a pea, cheese pizza, you need it pretty cheesy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You keep doing that. And again, multitasking in the kitchen. Of course, you can easily go buy a frozen pizza. You can easily go to a local, you know, pizza delivery and, and get pizza that way, which is fine. But if you want to do something at home and you want to do something with your children, making your own pizza is just so much more fun. Is this good enough cheese? What do you think? Do you think you've got enough cheese mm -hmm. on there? I think I do. You think you do? <laughs> and think about when you're making your own pizza, you decide. Mm -hmm. So if you like an extra cheese pizza, you can make an extra cheese. All right. Okay. Go to the next. Okay. Look at that. That is looking so good. Very good. Look at this woman. She's loving working with her hands. And you can use some of this if you like. Mm -hmm. If you run out of that, you go to this one, okay? okay? Very good. And, you know, you can be creative. If you love to put green peppers, onions, tomatoes ground beef if you want to do a vegetarian pizza you're good you can do that as well it's your prerogative on what you do now Hattie Grace how okay you're doing it right now I wanted to ask you this while you're cooking um, 
What kind of sports do you play? You, do you play sports? Well, the routine that I was telling you, mm -hmm. I did that. And in third grade, they have this little basketball thing. Mm -hmm. This little at, basketball thing? Mm -hmm, at Trinity. Uh -huh. And you, can, you get to play games. Mm -hmm. And um, yesterday was the, their last game. Really? Mm -hmm. And what did you get to do? Um, I what I was I'm in second grade. You're I, second grade. I didn't do that. You didn't get to do that. Mm -hmm. But you do like to play sports and mm -hmm, do different I things do. like that. Very good. So you're an active second grader. Are you second grade? Mm-hmm. That is awesome. How does your pizza look? It's good. Good. It looks good. I'm gonna get him. How some does <laughs> you're gonna give him a little extra. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, I'm going to need a strainer because I'm going to have to strain my spinach. Well, the spinach is good. Look at that, how pretty that looks. Power, speed, maneuverability, and reliability are just some of the things that make a championship race car. They're also some of the things that make one of the nation's best lawnmowers. I always expect high performance on the racetrack, and it's no different when it comes to high performance on my lawn. Hi, I'm Richard Petty. Visit your local Gravely dealer today. Gravely lawnmowers are the only mowers allowed at Petty's Garage. Get the best deal on your auto loan from First Lawrence Bank. Make it easy to get that loan you need. See the professionals at First Lawrence Bank. Loan officers Ben Bradshaw, Linda Evans, Stanley Souls, or Pam Graham for the best deal on a car loan. When you need a car loan, think First Lawrence Bank. And make it easy. First Lawrence Bank, Dublin, and Dexter. The season is around the corner. So get a brand new Kubota Commander Zero Turn Mower during Kubota's Get Something Started sales event. Now, get zero down and 0% APR financing for up to 36 months on a powerful Commander. Get professional performance, precision mowing, comfort, styling, and a full four-year factory warranty during Kubota's Get Something Started sales event. Freeman's Lawn and Garden, 1325 North Jefferson Street in Dublin. Call 272-2198. My parents are really slowing down. I feel bad I can't always be there for them. How do I choose between caring for my mother and caring for my own family? I've been looking into the options, but Dad doesn't want to leave his home. What do I do? Struggling to care for an aging parent? You're not alone. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To us, it's personal. And this chicken looks really, really good. It only takes a few minutes to cook chicken. Okay. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Now smooth it out just a little bit. Smooth it out. I bet that's that's looking good right there. Smooth that. And you just squished it down. Mm -hmm. Did you? <laughs> that's going to be your brother's pizza. Don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. You just squished that one down. All right. Make sure that your chicken, your cheese is even. Very good. We're ready for the oven. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to switch out here. I'm going to let you go ahead and prepare mine. Okay. All right. Do you want me to do it with that too? Yes, I do. I want okay. you to do it with that too. And what she means by that is we want to use olive oil on the crust. Here. You leave it right there. Okay. Here we go. I'm just shifting some things around for you to make it easier, okay? I'll sweep this up a little. Very good. And you're still being safe. Mm -hmm. Very good. We'll get this right here. Look at that. Can you smell that chicken? I can. Smells good. It really does. And if you can see this, look how that spinach cooks down. That cooks down, but that's going to be really nice. We'll go ahead and turn the oven off. That spinach is ready. How many pizzas am I going to make? Only two? You're going to make two. Okay. And I'm thinking I'm going to just make one. Okay. Okay? Okay. And can you put me pizza sauce on there? I'm going to have to go in the fridge to... I'm going to use... What am I using? Alfredo. I'm using an Alfredo sauce. And you can use one that's fat-free. You can use one that's low in fat, light, whatever you desire. Because if you want to cut the calories, there's certainly a way that you can do it. All right. Are we ready? 
Mm -hmm. I don't want a whole lot of that on mine. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I'm going to trust you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to trust you to not overdo it. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. So let's use a larger spoon for okay. me, okay? And we want to smooth that out. Smooth that out. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> and you notice we're not measuring anything simply because... When you're making uh, items like this, it's really per choice. I don't like a whole lot of sauce on mine. Some people prefer more sauce. With me, I... Okay. <laughs> Give me just a little bit more, okay. darling. And kind of smooth it out for me, okay? Do I get it on the outsides, too? No, don't put it on the outsides. You want to stop about right here at the edge because I don't like the overflow of sauce. <laughs> Isn't that something? Uh -huh. Okay, keep going, keep going. I'm going to check my chicken to make sure it's ready. Keep going, guys. Look at that. And it doesn't, like I said, it does not take long to prepare your chicken. And I can even cut this up a little more if I desire. That's still per choice. That's your choice on that. Can I help you out a little bit? Mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> and can I have a rag? Yes. <laughs> what do we talk about in the kitchen? To make sure what? That... You always wash your hands. Always wash your hands. And if your hands are feeling icky, go over to the sink. <laughs> and when your kids, when your hands are feeling icky, go wash your hands and so that you can keep moving. Do you like icky hands? It depends what it is. Yes. <laughs> if you're playing in mud, <laughs> icky hands are okay, right? <laughs> but if you're cooking, icky hands, mm -mm. Mm -mm, not okay. You see how I'm doing that? How I've smoothed that out? Mm -hmm. Look at that. All right, are we ready to do something else now? Mm -hmm. What do you think I should put on next? I think you should put on some cheese. Cheese, yes. Let's go for it. You see how that is? And I smoothed it out with the bottom of the spoon. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's get that cheese on there. You want me to sprinkle some? Yes, go right ahead. We're going to turn the oven off. Do you like a lot of cheese? Yes, you go ahead and get it smooth. All right, I'm gonna take that off. Let me help you because of our time. Let's get this on there. Can you get it? Smooth it on there? Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, woman. <laughs> there you go. How does that look? Good. All right, and now I'm going to take this spinach. I'm gonna put, this is probably a little warm, okay? So I won't make you do that. <laughs> All right. This is just me using my hands again. You see. You see why you got to have clean hands in the kitchen? Hmm? Mm hmm What else do you want to talk about while I'm cooking this? Mm -hmm. We're going to do some kebabs in a minute. Mm -hmm. You've already started on that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can stop here. If you only want, okay. if you don't want any meat on your pizza, if you want to mm -hmm. do a vegan pizza, you can just add no meat. But you know what I like? Mm -hmm. Meat. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Take some of these pieces. And we won't need all of this chicken, ladies and gentlemen. That was three chicken breasts that I actually cooked and prepared. You won't need all of that. You get it on the outside, right? You get it on the outside, or you can put some in the middle, right? Yes, that's okay. exactly right. And you see how I'm putting that? Mm -hmm. All right. What kind of chicken is that? This is a chicken breast. Mm. This is a chicken breast, and so it doesn't have as much fat. Is it from a real chicken? <laughs> Yes, it's from a real chicken. <laughs> what other kind of chicken is there? Uh, Fake chickens? <laughs> <laughs> this is a real chicken, ladies and gentlemen, that we're using. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. There we go. And we'll get yours in the oven in just a minute. And we will be back after this commercial break, and then we're going to start off with our kebabs. Right? Mm -hmm. 
No matter where you live in Middle Georgia, Lawrence County's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling company is just a phone call away. And right now, Middle Georgia Mechanical will service your system for only $69.95. And this includes up to one pound of Freon. Call Middle Georgia Mechanical today before that old unit lets you down. Call the best qualified, best trained, and most experienced in the repair and maintenance of your heating and cooling system. Call Middle Georgia Mechanical right now at 275-4530 or any of these numbers and have your system serviced today for only $69.95. Middle Georgia Mechanical, Central Drive, East Dublin. Since 1954, Lake's Alignment has stood behind every job they've done. At Blake and all his technicians are among the most skilled and experienced technicians in the industry. You can be assured every job is done right, from front end work to brake work, or choosing the best tires for your vehicle. Lake's Alignment carries a full line of tires, including quality Toyo tires. Count on the best. Choose Lake's Alignment, located just off Central Drive at East Dublin. Call 272-4230. service, low rates, and good neighbors meet. Experience it at Morris Bank. Morris Bank. It pays to go blue. All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and I've got little Hattie Grace, my helper here, and she has been fantastic. We got the pizzas in the oven, and I had to add my black olives. You know I forgot my black <laughs> olives, Hattie Grace. You didn't help me out on that. <laughs> okay, now let's tell the people what we're getting ready to do. I'll let you explain to you. We're about to do fruit kebabs, and we have strawberries and grapes. And we're going to put the strawberries right where the center is, right here. Mm -hmm. As you all can see, she's already been working so hard. She's been a busy bee throughout the whole time. Show them what you're doing. And you have to make a little space so you can put your hand. Very good. All right. And then you get one of these because they're small. They are small. And, you know, I want to interject with that. What she's using, she's using a smaller and a wider uh, skewer, which is good. These are good when you're using for corn on the cob and things like that. But this is also safer for a young, a young little, a little <laughs> one such as yourself to use when you're working in the kitchen because you can also use a 12 inch and 12 inch uh, bamboo skewers are much sharper and that can be a little bit dangerous for your hands. Mm -hmm. it? Have you stuck yourself yet? Uh, a Maybe little bit. A little <laughs> bit. You see that? But safety is first in this kitchen and so she's done a very, very lovely, lovely job. And what we have right here. Kind of, we kind of put these little things together, we'll give, give a little Easter flavor, right? Mm -hmm. And these are our bases. We've got a grapefruit in there, and we're going to actually place the kebabs now to give it a beautiful presentation. So while you're working on that, Is this I'm gonna, one still good? That's still good. That's, okay. I'm just going to take that off. Very good. Okay. You see that? Very good. And, you know, I prepared the fruit in advance, so make sure that when you're working with fruit, you're working with vegetables, that you make sure that it is washed proper, properly. I use a fruit wash, and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I use Fit, and it does great. And so these have already been washed, they've been cut, and they've been prepared. And so now I'm going to start placing them. Are you ready? You keep working, okay? Mm -hmm. You keep working, and I'm going to get this in here. When you're having parties for kids, you want to make sure that it looks fun, it looks cute, it's good. Look at that. Do you like how that is? Mm-hmm. It's cute. It how it pokes out. <laughs> how it pokes out. Y'all hear that? All right. And I'm going to let you do the same thing that I'm doing, okay? On the other one? On the other one. So once you get that in there. And this is tedious, but the end result is wonderful, isn't it, Lay? I keep calling you your mama's name. <laughs> Are you Hattie Grace? Yes. I keep calling you your mama's name. All right, you see how and I'm putting these very close because it's going to really have a cute presentation when it's done. Very good. I'm going to let you. Do you want to make more of those or do you want to start placing them? It doesn't really matter. Okay, well, we're going to let her go ahead and start. Do you see where I started? Mm -hmm. I put the first one in the center. Okay. Ready? I'm going to place this right here. Be very careful, young lady. So hold the base. You've got to hold it. Let's turn this here. And, you know, you could easily eat fruit out of a bowl. 
but that's okay. Let's check. I'm going to check the pizza while you're doing that. Go ahead and talk to him, Lacey. Hattie Grace. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling you your mom. Keep going. See, I put the first one in the middle and I'm sticking these beside them, but on the outside. How's that looking? Make sure you keep them closed. Keep them closed. That pizza's looking delicious. How's that going? Good. Good. Keep going. Keep that going. that okay? That is okay. That split a little bit, but mm -hmm. you know what you do with those? You take those off and eat them. <laughs> I know. I'm going to take that out. Keep going. You can put that in the same spot. And you have to make sure that you have the time to prepare stuff like this because it does take some time. Mm -hmm. I love hosting parties and kids' parties were just my favorite. Oh, and this one came off too. That's okay. So that means whenever you put it down too far... That's when your fruit splits. Okay? So don't press it down too far. Very good. You get it? I think you all are getting the hang of this. <laughs> and because we're multitasking, we've got to make sure that that pizza does not burn in that oven. How's it going, little lady? Good. All right. You, you need, you're going to probably need to make some more. Because look, it's requiring a lot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But look how that's turning out. I love that. Okay. Okay, I'll you stop for a minute and you, you get can, to you, you can keep go working. Mine, you okay. Know. We're gonna need a few we're gonna need some more. And Is I'm this gonna strawberry good? It's good. Okay. Yeah, you keep moving. Okay. And so we're gonna check on our pizzas. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I think they're ready. And to make it easier where the uh where the grape is, there's a um a hole, so you could stick it right through that hole. All right, that cheese pizza is ready. We're gonna uh -huh. take that out. You keep moving, young lady. Okay. We're gonna move these to the side. And you know, I'm also talking about, you make sure you keep this kitchen clean. Uh -uh. All right, yeah. when we're done, we'll be back in just a moment until we'll finish up cooking with little Hattie Grace. Salvation Army Family Store is located at 1617 Telfair Street in Dublin, Georgia. We have all kind of great items in our store. We've got clothes, we have gowns, we have ties, we have shoes, furniture, mattresses, household goods, just about anything you can imagine we have. On top of that, our prices are super low. Just about anybody can afford the things that we have in our store. We're also looking for donations. We need your items so we can continue to help the community. If it's too big for you to bring, then give us a call at 478-275-7336 and we'll arrange to come pick it up. The Salvation Army is a community organization that we help people with, uh, with clothing and food items. We help with furniture and rent assistance. We help during disaster times. We help with uh, just about anything we can. We take the proceeds from the sale of our store and we use that money uh, in our programs here in Dublin and Lawrence County. Our hours are Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5. The Salvation Army Family Store, 1617 Telfair Street, Dublin, Georgia. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen, with little Hattie Grace, and we are done. Have you had fun in the kitchen? I have. This has turned out so beautifully. You've cut your pizza. Now try a slice. You go ahead and try a slice. And then this is the finished product of these beautiful kebabs. You know, it's so fun to eat at to eat and of course to cook in the kitchen with kids. You want to practice safety, you want to make eating fun and cooking fun, you want it to be healthy, and you want to have a good time. How is it? Good. You didn't even wait for me to even have a piece. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well thank you all so much for joining me cooking with little Hattie Grace. Hattie Grace, anything you want to say to him with the cheese hanging down your <laughs> mouth? <laughs> Any last words? Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching Real Talk and please keep watching.